In Greek mythology, the figure Cassandra would predict the fall of the Trojans, although her prophecy would go unheeded. In the 1930s, there was Catherine Stuart Murray, Duchess of Athol, who warned British politicians of both Bolshevik uprising and the looming danger of Adolf Hitler at a time when only the future Prime Minister Winston Churchill would heed her words. A Scottish noblewoman by birth, Catherine, Kitty, became the Duchess of Athol when her husband succeeded his father as Duke in 1917. Although she was an accomplished pianist, Kitty was, by all accounts, a shy woman. But her husband and former Prime Minister David Lloyd George convinced her to stand for a seat in Parliament in 1923. She won. Catherine became one of the first female MPs in British history. Of course, the men in Parliament assumed the Duchess would remain silent and do whatever she was told, as women were expected to do. But as her experience in Parliament grew, Kitty's principles deepened and her courage blossomed. In 1931, Catherine published a 200-page book titled The Conscription of a People. She wrote about the forced labour, the genocide of the Kulaks, mass seizures of property, an extensive secret police network and an unprecedented diversion of resources to the military in Russia under Joseph Stalin. Kitty was critical of her own party's support of Russia, decrying the British government's extension of credit to Moscow. In 1935, she would warn her country once again. She sent Churchill the original copy of Mein Kampf, warning him about the real danger of Adolf Hitler. In September 1938, the infamous Munich Conference gave Hitler a green light to forcibly incorporate Czechoslovakia into the Third Reich. Catherine publicly opposed the Munich Accord. The Prime Minister reacted furiously and strong-armed Conservative Party officials in Scotland to remove Catherine and select a new candidate for Parliament. By 1938, Catherine resigned from the party and ran as an independent in the special election for her own seat in Parliament. She lost. But when Hitler invaded Poland less than nine months later, Kitty's predictions became reality. She was the Cassandra of her own time. A humiliated Chamberlain sulked through the remaining few months of his tenure, until he was replaced by Winston Churchill. As Britain's new Prime Minister, Churchill understood Catherine's warnings and finally pushed back against the totalitarian threat. Even though she was forced out of Parliament, Catherine Stuart Murray, the Duchess of Athol, was vindicated. Her commitment to fighting tyranny never wavered. She worked tirelessly to help European refugees and victims of authoritarian regimes until her death in 1960, at the age of 85.